Hey guys, it's Liz. Um, just a quick message today. Try not to be obnoxious on the internet. I mean, I know it sounds kind of like a wise guy remark, but have you ever gone on Twitter and you see people that have that repeated, I guess it's like a robot thing where the same message comes up over and over and over again, like buy my stuff, buy my stuff, buy my stuff, buy my stuff. You basically get so sick of seeing them that you go back and delete them as somebody you're following because you just can't stand seeing this junk up there anymore. Well, it's the same as going into a store where you have somebody that greets you at the door, can I help you or there's, is there something you're looking for? I had that happen to me the other day when I went into a clothing store near my house. We've gotten used to shopping around and browsing on our own. And when you do encounter that salesperson that comes up to you and doesn't leave you alone, it's sort of obnoxious. It's like, get away, get away. I don't want to be bothered. I just want to browse, you know? And the person came up to me like three times and finally I said to her, I I really don't think I'm going to be buying anything today, so go help somebody else that might need your help. And I ended up walking out. I didn't buy anything. I just felt pressured, like, you know, I wanted to do it in my own way, in my own time, and just kind of browse around. And usually when I do make a shopping trip, I'll buy a few things, but I just felt pushed, so I left. And I'm just kind of giving you that little word of warning. Don't feel, don't make people feel like you're pushing. Don't go online and, and say the same, you know, thing over and over and over again because it really is annoying and people will delete you. People will stop listening to you. It's like the guy who cries wolf, you know, the boy who cried wolf. After a while, people didn't listen, right? Well, it's the same thing. If you keep saying, you know, my juice is the best thing on earth over and over, people are going to stop listening or whatever your product is. Um, so just be gentle about it and recognize how you would want to be approached. Uh, I think that's one of the most important things we can do in our businesses is really identify with our target market. Who is it that you're selling to? If you have a product and you think you can sell it to anyone, um, you're mistaken because no thing is for everyone, okay? Some people like a Cadillac, some people like a Volkswagen. Um, there's someone for your product, but it may not be everyone. And when you get out there and you keep pushing like that, um, no one's going to be attracted to it. So that's just my little quick message for the day. I'll see you next time. So don't be obnoxious and have a great day. And I will talk to you soon. Take care.